Welcome to today's meditation. This is a short one. It's just a reflection on my practice. And as always, I encourage you to find your own practice, to name your own practice, and to practice it. Because as we know from the teachings, that everything is given to us to put into action. That's our practice. So the three things that I focus on are the transcendentals, beauty, truth, and goodness. And connected to that is that we are created by love, to love, and to be loved. So those two trinities come together. And if you simplify those and look at them as individual realities, beauty, truth, and goodness, we find them in every practice in the world. Faith, hope, and love. And for me, the trinity of faith, hope, and love contains one that is above the others. For the greatest of these is love. So you have beauty, truth, and goodness. And if we just focus on those individually and separately look at that we are created by love, to love, and to be loved, there's an infinite, mysterious combination of those two trinities coming together. So if you go back to the most simple aspects of them, and in your mind, and in your heart, and in your action, see how those work. Ask yourself, what is beauty? What is true? and what is good. You can make a whole lifetime of that practice alone. But then you look at, we are created by love. So what is love? What is that creative force of love that created us? We were created by love for a reason, to love and to be loved. created, we were created, we were created, creation, for a reason, to love. It's the same substance that created us is what we are called to do. To give out from ourselves and to receive into ourselves that love. So the love that exists, that created us, is what we are called to do. And we can't do something unless it's from us as an individual. But that individual, individuality, ego, is love. We forget that. And if that ego individuality that created us is who we are, we can give that and we can become that. But we also have to receive it, to take it into us. We find this everywhere we look. In my writings and in my research, as I call it, I keep coming back to 
that central core, that central reality. And from that, everything else exists. Everything comes from that. But we've lost that. We've lost that reality. We, we, we focus on everything out there instead of on the central reality. And in my mind's picture, what that looks like is that that central core of love, whatever that is, whatever that substance is, has three expressions. It's beautiful, it's true, and it's good. That love being can't create anything except what it is. It's beautiful, it's true, and it's good. So where does ugliness come from? Where does untruth come from? And where does evil come from? Those are questions that I think each one of us has to answer for ourselves. But we're not left alone to answer that question. We have the answer. And it's in that saying, we are created by love, to love, and to be loved. And where that doesn't exist, That's our personal responsibility to answer that lack or need as we find it in our lives and in the world around us. It's a very difficult thing, but it's very simple. And we have to remove ourselves at certain times, wherever you are, to just simply go back and look at that original reality, whatever that is for us. Because it is in that reality of love, created love, who we are, that we find our common ground. And we lose that, and we see it in other people. And we can fall into the trap of judgment, blame. And as Mother Teresa said, if we judge, we cannot love. If we judge ourselves, it doesn't mean take, not taking responsibility. But love always supersedes judgment. Love always supersedes judgment. So those are just a few thoughts today on my tenants. If you can take something from that, if you can take something from that, I hope it's this, that you find for yourself your Weltanschauung, your life vision, your life, whatever that is. And it can't be arbitrary. You can't just make it up. It has to come to you. I hope that you find that for yourself. And you go deep into that practice. Because that individual view is vitally important to humanity because each person comes with a gift and how it's expressed creates the whole. But when we deny ourselves that, when we deny the world that, the world is less, from, less than it should be and less than it can be. So go into your practice today. Go into your, into your view. 
and simplify it. 